Bobby Hull. The brilliant Chicago left winger was the most commanding player in the National Hockey League during the 65-66 season. Hull established three new records for scoring and for the second successive year was awarded the Hart Trophy as the most valuable player to his team. And on March 12th in Chicago, he scored his 51st goal to break the NHL season scoring record, a mark previously shared with Rocket Richard and Bernie Jeffrion. Once again, frustrated in their annual attempt to win their first league championship, Chicago finished in second position. In the semifinals, coach Billy Ray's Hawks met the fourth place Detroit Red Wings, directed by general manager and coach Sid Abel. The Red Wings were opposed by a Chicago team with a lineup that included four first team all-stars. Netminder Glenn Hall, his sixth time as a first team member. All-star center Stan Makita, foiled in his bid for a third straight scoring title by Hull's record efforts. Pierre Pilat, a first team defenseman for the fourth consecutive season. On left wing, all-star Bobby Hull. But Hull's scoring potential was blunted by the outstanding goalkeeping of Roger Crozier and the attentive checking tactics of number 18, Brian Watson. Coach Sid Abel's club was a productive blend of youth and experienced personnel. Paul Henderson, playing his second year with Detroit, scored 22 goals during the season. The incomparable Gordy Howe, completing his 20th campaign with the Wings in the NHL, an all-star for the 17th time. Norm Ullman, 10 industrious years with Detroit. Sophomore goalie, Roger Crozier. Center Alex Del Vecchio has scored 311 goals in 15 NHL seasons. His experienced playmaking was a prominent factor as Detroit defeated Chicago to advance into their 18th Stanley Cup Final Series. In the other semifinal series, first place Montreal disposed of coach Punch Imlock's third place Toronto team in four consecutive games. The Canadiens presented a pattern of unproductive first period play during the series as Toronto took an early lead in three of the four games. For the first 20 minutes in these games, the Leafs, led by veteran Red Kelly in his 18th playoff series, resembled the Toronto teams that had skated to three successive Stanley Cup triumphs in 1962-64. Despite the dedicated play of goalie Johnny Bauer, who has spent half his life in professional hockey, and the goal scoring of Eddie Shack, Toronto could not contain Montreal for a full game. The Leafs were unable to take advantage of power play opportunities, and the Canadiens gradually regained control of each game with a combination of effective checking and steady goalkeeping. The potent offensive ingredients for Montreal's success were speed, finesse, and scoring power. Their strength at center was emphasized by three players who had scored a total of 73 goals during the season. The defending champions, paced by Jean Beliveau, the highest scoring center in league history, swept the series from Toronto. They were ready for the defense of the Stanley Cup. The 19th Cup Finals commenced on a rainy afternoon in Montreal as enthusiastic supporters filed into the forum for their first NHL game in 19 years. Coach Toblake and his poised Montreal team met a gallant Detroit squad that was given little chance for series success. Now, here is Bill Hewitt. All set for the faceoff at center ice. Alex Del Vecchio and Jean Beliveau. They get set to go and the puck is dropped and cleared back into the Detroit zone. Floyd Smith starts down the left side at center ice. A quick pass to Andy Bathgate over the blue line. Bathgate gets set, takes the backhand, Smith shoots and scores! Deflecting the puck into the net, and it's one nothing Detroit. Back for Montreal now, it's played out to center ice. Here's J.C. Tremblay over the blue line. Goes around the defense, ready to go, he shoots, oh, and Crozier made the save, and it's knocked off to the side. First period over, Detroit lead one nothing. In the second, Backstrom comes down the left wing. Over the blue line, gets by Gadsby, Boyvin cuts in front of him, he takes it away from him. Backstrom right in front of the net. He shoots, he scores, and the Canadians have tied it up, 1-1. Montreal Canadians on the attack again. It's cleared into the Detroit zone. Here's a chance for Jill Tremblay, a shot, and Crozier knocks it to the corner. Face off to the right of Rangers drop. 
The Detroit Red Wings start to move out. Gadsby moving up with Ab McDonald to center. Gadsby a pass to Ab McDonald. Back to Gadsby. Shoots the score. And Detroit lead it 2 to 1. Back for Howe. Over the blue line with Prentice. Prentice back to Howe. Howe cutting right in front of the net. He shoots. Oh, the flex off Worsley over the glass into the crowd. Now in the third period, Detroit leading two to one. Paul Henderson down the wing, over the blue line. He cuts right in on goal. He shoots, he scores! Henderson makes it three to one, Detroit. The Red Wings still putting on the pressure as they come down the ice. It's Marshall coming down with Prentice and Howe. Prentice back to Howe. Howe getting in front of the net. He shoots, oh, and Worsley kicked it off to the side. Montreal Canadiens cleared out to center and the Red Wings start back again. They're over the line. Marshall coming in with McGregor. Marshall goes behind the net, takes his shot. Worsley stopped and McGregor standing in front shoot. Worsley slid out and made the save. Here's Ullman for the chance. Had a great save again by Worsley and it's knocked off to the side. Montreal Canadiens now move on the attack, trailing by just one goal, three to two. Up over the line to Duff. Duff cuts to the corner. He centers it. Henry Richard shoots. Oh, and Crozier made a great save on that as a roll by the corner. Montreal Canadiens still putting on the pressure. Down the ice for J.C. Tremblay. A quick pass ahead to Russo. Over the line, he's in the clear. Going right in on goal. Crozier got his toe in the way of that one, and it goes to the wing. It's still in the Detroit zone. They'll let you after it. And there goes the siren. The game is over. Detroit three, and Montreal Canadiens two. Detroit leads the series, one to nothing. You're driving along. A car pulls in front of you. Another pulls alongside. When the guy up front stops short, you rear end him, just like he wanted. It's called a swoop and squat. And fraud like this can add hundreds of dollars a year to your insurance bills. It's why Allstate has a dedicated fraud team to track down criminals. Fighting fraud helps keep your insurance affordable. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? We see Sophie designing. Dreaming. Making her name. Turning a crazy idea into the latest craze. We see her potential. We're inspired to create software that helps her reach it. This Friday, nature is a mother. From the director of Independence Day. The day after tomorrow. Friday, rated PG-13. Got it. A1 steak sauce. Yeah, it's that important. TV today calls Jeep Seats more professional than local access. Is this my camera? Randy and Jason's third grade teacher says those two are still D-U-M-B. Wait, what does that spell? Jeep Seats, a new take on some old sports. Thursdays at 10 on ESPN Classic. 2nd game of the series, the Montreal Forum Ice. Referee Frank and Barry set to drop the puck between Bellevue and Alex Del Vecchio. The puck is dropped and it goes along the red line, cleared back to Claude Provo. Provo turns at the blue line and clears it down the ice into the Detroit zone. The Red Wings move up. Bathgate, a quick pass to Howe with Elman. Elman comes in over the line. Getting in front of the net. He shoots. Oh, a great save by Worsley. Elman the rebound. And it's deflected by Harris into the corner. It's cleared down the ice by the Canadians and Bellevue goes after it into the corner. Goes in behind the net. Getting set to center it. A back pass. Goes to J.C. Trombley. He shoots score! J.C. Trombley picked the left side of the net and it's one to nothing for Montreal. Detroit now with Gadsby head to Henderson at center right. Henderson takes a long shot. Worsley stopped it. He goes to the corner. Picked up by McGregor. McGregor falls. Gets a hold of it again. Centered it out in front. Gadsby shot. Worsley made the save. Gadsby from the far side. Centered it Elman. Elman shoots. And Worsley again made a dazzling save as it goes to the corner. Montreal Canadiens coming back. Provo gives it to Joe Tremblay. He's right in front of the net, and Crozier made a great save, and it rolls off to the side. 
Harris goes back into his own zone, into the corner after the puck. He's being followed there by Normie Elman. Elman tries to get it away from him. It goes up over top of the net, out in front. Bathgate after it. Bathgate takes a whack at it. Oh, he scores! Andy Bathgate has tied it for Detroit. 1-1. One, one. We're now in the second period. Elman races down the ice over the blue line. He stops. Passes to McGregor. Chris McGregor going right in on goal by Harrison Wurz and slides out and makes a save and the rebound goes to the blue line. It's McGregor coming back with Howe. A quick pass for Howe. Howe trying to control. Oh, he can and he goes by the net. Now it's the Montreal Canadiens coming down. Russo gets a shot away. Right to Jill Cromwell in front. Oh, and a great save by Crozier from point blank range. Now it's J.C. Tremblay, a long pass at center ice corner. Why he gets a try, and Crozier makes another great save. We're in the third period. The score is tied 1-1. Jill Tremblay feeds a quick pass out on the right side. They're coming over the line. Belleville, Belleville shoots. Oh, and Crozier grabbed that one out of the air with his right hand. It's McGregor, a quick pass for Henderson. Henderson takes a long shot, and that was just off the target. McGregor after the rebound. McGregor has it coming from the side. He can score! Bruce McGregor makes it 2-1 to one Detroit. Here they are back again, the Red Wings. A pass right in front for Smith. He takes the shot. Worsley slid out. Ab McDonald whacks at it. Oh, it hits Trombley. It's in that he scores! And Detroit now leads 3-1. to one. Back for Montreal. Cornwallier at center. In over the blue line. Cornwallier goes to the corner, tries to center, gets his shot away. Crozier makes the save, the rebound goes off to the side. Cornwallier, Smith, and Prentice scoring in the final period to make the final score Detroit 5, Montreal 2. Here we are at the Detroit Olympia for the third game of the final series. All set for the faceoff at center between Del Vecchio and John Beliveau. John Ashley drops the puck and it's cleared by Beliveau down the ice into the Detroit zone. Provo's knocked down. The puck is loose. He gets up again and gets up in front, takes a shot, and it rebounds off to the wing, picked up by Gadsby. Gadsby gets it ahead to the blue line, picked up there by Bathgate, up over the blue line. Bathgate closing in with Adam McDonald, a shot, and was stopped by Worsley. The puck, another shot, right in front. Alman let it go, and that was stopped by Worsley. The puck is still in the Montreal zone. It goes to the boards. They can't get it out. Henderson goes after it. Alman steals the puck in the corner. He's coming from the side. He gets scores! Tommy Alman makes it one nothing for Detroit. Dave Ballone has scored for the Canadians, and it's all tied up. 1-1, and they're on the move again. Up they come. Bellavo at center ice. He gets it over the clear. Going right in and goal. He gets And Montreal takes the lead. Two to one, and a beautiful effort by Jean Beliveau. Back for the Montreal Canadiens. J.C. Tremblay ahead to Beliveau. Over to Jill Tremblay. To Beliveau to Jill Tremblay. He shoots the score! And the Montreal Canadiens take the lead. Three to one. The puck is still in the Detroit zone. Talbot has it. Back to Beliveau. He gives to J.C. Tremblay. Over to Russo. Russo to Jill Tremblay. He shoots the score! Final score, Montreal Canadiens four, Detroit Red Wings two. Detroit leads the final series now, two games to one. Starting Monday on Sports Century, it's Indy 500 week, profiling another Indy legend each night. Racing is their life. Get ready for this year's big race with Sports Century Al Unser Sr., Monday at 8 Eastern. A.J. Foyt, Tuesday at 8. Mario Andretti, Wednesday at 8. Rick Mears, Thursday at 7. And Bill Vukovic, Friday at 8. Sports Century Indy 500 Week, starting Monday, only on ESPN Classic.
Well, I was 10 when I first got involved with drugs. I skipped school because, you know, nobody cared. When I first got pregnant, school was not important to me, so I dropped out. Well, if I don't finish school, then I can't go to college. I mean, that's the whole point of what I want to do with my life. I still need to go to school to make, make it for myself. I think I'm happier now. I know I'm happier now. When you think it's time to buy a new car, you've got a lot to think about. And the information you need to make the right decision is at vhicks.com. vhicks.com gives you all the facts, the makes, the models, the engine, the transmission, the power locks, the power windows, the stereo, the airbags, the headroom, the hip room, the leg room, the colors outside, the colors inside, and of course, the prices. So don't go in circles. Go to the all-new, easy-to-use vhicks.com. Roadmap to the automotive world. This is Danny Gallivan speaking to you from the Detroit Olympia with the fourth game of the 1966 Stanley Cup Final Series with the Detroit Red Wings leading in the series two games to one. As this game gets underway, the Montreal Canadiens know that they're up against it and they go to the attack. Breaking out over the line, Rochefort to Bellevue. Bellevue across the Detroit line. He shoots it in front and a big save there by Crozier on Provo. Here come the Canadians again. Bellavo taking that pass. He goes into the corner, getting set to Russo right in front, and Crozier, another remarkable save, but this time the Detroit goalie has been injured. Now Crozier is being led to the Detroit bench. And we have a new Detroit goalie, Hank Bass. Into the second period. Detroit with tremendous drive and desire, led by Marshall. They go to the corner. Now McGregor getting it out in front. Normie Omajuti scores! Detroit won. Montreal Canadiens nothing. The Red Wings still hungry for goals. Go to the attack. Worsley knocks it off to the corner. The Red Wings again. McGregor off the boards to Normie Ullman. Ullman in front to McGregor. He shoots and Worsley a great save. Montreal Canadiens coming now to the attack. J.C. Tremblay shooting it into the corner. Fontaine losing it on the board. Dicked off to J.C. Tremblay. He shoots. Bellevue scores. Detroit won. Montreal won. And that's the score going into the third period. The Canadiens taking the play away from Detroit now. Working in as Bellevue going in on goal. And fast and cleverly came out. And Bellevue went flying to the corner. Canadians again on the right side. Roberts in front to back for me. Shoots, he scores. Montreal two, Detroit one. And the Canadians have evened the series with the Red Wings, two games apiece. We found something extraordinary. You recall what you said about how polar melting might disrupt the North Atlantic current? Yes. Well, I think it's happening. The hail, the tornadoes, it all fits. Nothing like this has ever happened before. At least not in the last 10,000 years. The day after tomorrow, Friday, rated PG-13. Is it true that you guys do more brake jobs than anyone else? Yes. And are my pads and shoes really guaranteed for as long as I own my car? Yes. Even if it's 20 more years? Absolutely. Do you ever cry at weddings? No. It's peak driving season. Come to Midas for great value and service every day. Lifetime guaranteed brake pads or shoes are just $89.95 installed. And they're guaranteed for as long as you own your car. For mechanics known for their work and their word. Trust the Midas touch. Inside every can of Minwax is the secret to enhancing wood's natural beauty. Minwax rich wood stains and long-lasting protective finishes make it easy to turn any house into a beautiful home. Minwax, making wood beautiful for 100 years.
there's only one chocolate-covered nut with an old friend inside. Planters, put out the good stuff. It'll be a classic Sunday night. At 7 and 7.30, it's the offbeat comedy Cheap Seats. And at 8, Real Classics hosted by Burt Reynolds presents Point Break, starring Keanu Reeves and Patrick Swayze. Tonight on ESPN Classic. 1970. Body The Montreal Forum is the scene of the fifth game of the finals, and of course, this has to be the key game of the series to date with the teams tied 2 2. The Montreal Canadiens immediately go to the attack, and it's Crozier back in goal for the Detroit Red Wings. Now the puck rolls off to the corner. Brian Watson covering up there for the Detroit Red Wings. It comes out to Provo. Provo getting set for a sharp angle shot. Here it is. He shoots. He scores. Montreal one. Detroit nothing. J.C. Trombley in his own zone for the Canadians. It comes off the boards to Smith. He's getting set to center it out back to the line. It comes to Marshall. He shoots. He's wide. The Detroit team buzzing around the Montreal goal. Now Montreal starting out, Richard racing on the right side. He shoots it. Oh, what a save there by Crozier as he ended up in behind the goal line. On Jim Lack, the coach of the Toronto Maple Leafs, and George Armstrong, the captain of the Leafs. The Canadians in Detroit territory again. J.C. Trombley shoots. It goes to Cormoyer. He scores! Montreal 2, Detroit nothing. We move into the second period, and the Canadians with that two-goal lead. J.C. Trombley ahead to Duff over on the right side. It goes to Box from cutting in on goal. He shoots, and Crozier, a splendid save on that one. Buck bouncing behind the Detroit goal. Now it's Box from working the side. He tries to shove it in, and he's blocked by Crozier. And that's a tough one on a Canadian supporter. Detroit Red Wings with Henderson over the line. He gives it to Bath, gate back to Alvin. He shoots the rebound. He scores! Montreal 4, Detroit 1. As we move into the third period, it's Smith of Detroit at center down to the Montreal line to Parker McDonald cutting in on that left side. The shot, the rebound, and J.C. Trombley takes it out of harm's way. Here come the Canadians led by Richard. He's over the line. He has Duff with him. Duff has the pass cutting in on the right side. He shoots. He scores! Montreal 5, Detroit 1. And right here, we get a great exhibition of stick handling by one of the best stick handlers in the league, Richard. At center, in over the Detroit line, cutting in on that left side. He shoots the rebound in front of Malone. Is stopped there by Crozier. And now the siren goes to end the game. Montreal 5, Detroit 1. The Canadians take a 3 to 2 game lead in the series. Here at the Detroit Olympia, the Red Wings face elimination in this 6 game. The Canadians come out quickly. There's a pass to Joe Trombley going right in a goal. He shoots. Crozier blocked at the rebound. Bellavo scores. Montreal one. Detroit nothing. Here we move now into the second period, and the terrific tempo of this wonderfully played series continues. And the Red Wings have surprised many people with their great play. It's Smith cutting in for Detroit, dropping it back to Bathgate. He shot the rebound right in front, and it's cleared out of the way. J.C. Trombley back for the Montreal Canadiens. A pass over to Provo going in and goal. And oh, Crozier was brilliant on that one. Detroit firing it out over the boards. Richard took it from Marshall. In over the Detroit line. A pass to Rochefort. He shoots. He scores. Montreal two. Detroit nothing. Here come the Red Wings with Gordy Howe. He left it in the corner. Prentice back to Del Vecchio at the point over on this side to Bathgate. Bathgate plays it off the boards. In behind the net goes Howe. He's getting set to pass it back to Del Vecchio. Here it comes. Del Vecchio winds up. He shoots. They score! Ullman tips it in. Montreal 2, Detroit 1. 
And that's the score as we move into the third period. Provo breaking down for Montreal. He splits the defense going in on goal. Blocked by Crozier who cleared it to Howe. Howe on the right side. A pass out to Prentice. Ahead it goes to Del Vecchio. He shoots. Worsley comes up with a magnificent save. And the action fast and furious. Rochefort to Richard. He's nailed by Marshall. Back to Ballone. Cutting right in for the goal. And Crozier got it as he slid back in over the goal line. Bergman rounding the net, stick handling neatly. Out over the line at center, a pass on this side to Ab McDonald. His shot goes to the corner. Rochefort picking it up, losing it to Smith. Smith getting set to McDonald. Back it comes to Bergman. They score! Smith knocking that one in. Montreal two, Detroit two. Brian Watson on the right side, his shot blocked. Canadians starting out with Richard and Provo. Provo to Richard, close in shot, blocked again by Crozier. They fight for possession in the corner. Time running out. Regulation time is over, a tie hockey game, 2-2. And overtime play in Stanley Cup playoffs is of course always packed with drama and tension. It's tough on the fans, the players, and particularly on the coaches. Here we go with overtime. Bellavo and Del Vecchio facing off. Tension written over the faces of the fans. Rochefort off the boards from behind his own net. Detroit keeps it in. In on the boards, McGregor and Dave Ballone. Worsley hands it off to Talbot. Talbot playing it off the boards. Rochefort to Richard with Ballone. In over the Detroit line to Ballone. Back to Richard. They score! And the Montreal Canadiens win the Stanley Cup. It marks the 14th time in the long, illustrious, and colorful history of the Montreal Canadiens Hockey Club. The 1966 Stanley Cup finals are complete. Henri Richard shakes hands with Floyd Smith. And then Smith has his own particular salute for series standout Gump Worsley. A now familiar sight, Jean Beliveau and the Stanley Cup, Toe Blake and the jubilant Canadiens. NHL President Clarence Campbell presents the Conn Smythe Trophy, the series' most valuable player award to goalie Roger Crozier. Montreal, the second team in the 40-year history of the Stanley Cup, to lose the first two games of the final, yet win the series. Two great coaches, Toe Blake and Sid Abel. Yeah, we got the break tonight. Well, it, was. It, was a, it was a real good series. We had the one bad hockey game, show, and then every other game was good up for grabs. Either way. Thank you very much, Sid. Have a nice summer. The symbol of professional hockey supremacy was on display as the Montreal Canadiens made their final appearance of the season for thousands of ardent fans. They lined an 11-mile parade route to pay tribute to the triumphant team and in turn to be greeted by their hockey heroes. For the Montreal Canadiens, their 12th Stanley Cup victory in the modern era. A momentous occasion for club president David Molson, general manager Sam Pollock, and for coach Toe Blake, whose seven wins in 11 attempts is unmatched in Stanley Cup competition. For hockey fans across Canada and the United States, one of the most exciting and memorable seasons in the history of the National Hockey League. The Montreal Canadiens, 1966 Stanley Cup champions.